Hey, what's up everybody? Brandon Jameson here, and we're going to do another video of an acrylic pour. I've got some metallic silver by Blix. This is a Chucky Beat production. This one is uh, metallic gold, also by Blix. These paints are kind of soft body paints. They come out relatively liquid. This is golden titanium white. This actually comes out very, very runny. So a few tablespoons of that there. This is a uh, golden acrylics raw umber. Next thing I'm gonna be adding is some silicone oil. You see there, several drops per cup. adding to this is Flood Brand Floetrol. This is the secret ingredient that goes in there. It's a paint conditioner, but it helps to make the, uh, uh, the paint last longer, keeps the wet time, the working time longer, and then it also is responsible for a lot of the cells and cool effects that you get in these acrylic pores. And then we get to mixing. Uh, I mix until I get the proper consistency. The consistency that I'm looking for will vary from painting to painting, but in this particular piece, I was looking for something along the lines of like a milkshake or, or a smoothie. So the a milkshake or smoothie consistency is kind of what you're looking for there. And there I'm just uh, adding a little metallic ruby. I decided to add another metallic paint to it. So this is kind of a, almost like a bronze or, or a, a reddish bronze, but it's a metallic color. So I decided to make a, a quick cup of that as well to add to the painting. Let it sit there, let the paint mingle inside the cup and then reveal. I hit it with the torch right off the bat just to see if I can get some cells to form and then, uh, and then play with those as they came uh, but as you can see not a ton of cells formed and I just kind of let it sit there and do its thing for a few seconds before I go and start tilting and very carefully tilting trying not to disturb any of the cool colors that you have going on there I find if you tilt too fast then everything could potentially turn to mud you might lose some of the colors so uh, just tilting really slowly just to see what what happens So at this point I start mixing what's left in the cups. There's still a little bit of paint left in the cup, so I decide to make another like separate pour out of those because I really don't want to tilt the other direction and lose some of the colors that I got on the bottom half of the bottom part of the painting there. So I tilt a little bit more just to get some more coverage on the edges and corners there. And then uh, and then I'm prepping that second cup so I can cover the, the edges that I can't quite reach. And you can see some really cool colors going on there. The gold uh, and the white make a really cool combination. And uh, that, that metallic ruby, you can't see in the camera, but it actually does glisten quite a lot. So the whole painting is actually very, very metallic despite the, the poor resolution on the camera. And there I'm using the leftover paint to clean up those edges in the corners. overpaint the other cup
find that blowing on the paint, especially once it's been mixed in the cups and poured onto the, the board, if you blow on it, some really cool lacing effect starts to happen. You don't get the biggest cells, but uh, the lacing and the webbing and, and little miniature cells start to form when you blow on it. And uh, that seems to be, these days, my preferred method of, of getting the paint over across the edges rather than tilting more and disturbing uh, anything cool that I might have going on in the middle. I realize it looks like it, it looks like I'm eating the painting, but I assure you I'm not. And then hit it with the blowtorch. And you can see some cells starting to form right away there. Uh, that's partly the paint and partly the silicone oil at work there. Once you hit it with the torch, it'll start to open those up. And I didn't do much more than that. I just hit it with the torch a little bit to get some cell out and then I left it alone. Here's the final result. As you can see, uh, this is what the blowing does on the edges, that webbing and little cells. And here's another couple of angles. And that's the final result. If you like it, uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. I do videos like this all the time and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.